Why can't I hear myself like more than once? Like, that shouldn't be happening. Alright, so if I click start stream, and this thing still wants to murder me, okay? So I'm, I've apparently started the stream right now. YouTube still wants to shoot me in the foot. But I think it may have worked. I think I think we may have something working here. I'm just gonna check the comments, and hopefully, if I delete this stream, I'm deleting the right stream. And this thing still wants to murder me. Okay, so I'm, I've apparently started the stream right now. All right, come on. YouTube still wants to shoot me in foot right now, but I think it may have worked. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I can definitely stream 360p. Right, okay, hi everyone. I, I'm pretty so, pretty damn sure that I have this working. So, I'm very, very happy at the moment, because uh, it took me ages to get it to work. Um, but apparently, for me, it doesn't like me. Why is it saying <laughs> this page is unavailable? Tell me, please. Tell me, please. Alright, hang on. Okay, so I can definitely stream 360p. Right, okay, hi everyone. I, I'm pretty so, pretty damn sure that I have this working. So, I'm very, very happy at the moment. Because uh, it took me ages to get it to work. Alright, um, cool. Let's, uh, let's... Apparently, for me... Uh, I hate hearing myself. This is the me. worst thing. I'm going to mute myself. Alright, um... What, what's going on? I'm going to be starting my career with a batsman, right? Um, why, apparently there's two of me speaking. Why is that happening? Why is this, why is this shit happening? Ah, oh, I get it now. Right. Yes. I totally understand everything that is going wrong. And I finally have fixed the damn problem. Oh. I feel much better. Now, you know what? I'm going to play a casual match, first of all. I finally fixed the damn thing, and everything is going to be okay. Okay, hang on. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong friggin' thing now. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so I've got like about five different screens open, and the one that's meant to be having my Don Bradman game, I can't even see that at the moment. So, finally we have something. Okay. We... We are now officially live, and I'm going to play a game. So I'm going to be Australia, because I like Australia, and I'm from Australia. And I'm going to play, I'm going to play like a, maybe a, a T10 game or something. So we're going to go with the T20 lineup, we're going to go with the T20 home. Uh, we're going to be playing on Pro, because I'm really not that good at this game. Um... And what else am I gonna do? What, who am I gonna who am I gonna play against? Hang on, I should probably turn this volume down too. Um, I am going to play against what's something that's probably reasonably now, England. I haven't had an Australia England match yet, so I'm gonna play Australia England. We're gonna go with the T20 lineups. Who's in that lineup? Yeah, Johnny Besto. You probably you could probably get himself a spot in the team. Bresnan. Ah, oh. now screw Graham Swan. And we put Tim Bresnan in. Alright, I think that's that's legit. Um, Alright, let's go. Australian England. Yeah. Uh, if there was any possible way that I could stream any higher, I would. But unfortunately, this country is shithouse in terms of internet. So I cannot actually stream. I was trying to stream in 480p before. And when you... I don't know. Whenever YouTube hates me, which is always, um, it just doesn't like when I try to do that so it tells me your stream is poop don't even bother trying to stream in anything higher than 360p so there's like really no way whatsoever that I can get my stream to increase in terms of um, in terms of what in terms of quality um, as yet and so that's 
that's kind of where I'm at at the moment, trying to get, trying to get it to work and just work at the moment. Um, so, if I could, I would. That's that's the thing, but I can't, and so that's really um, where it all makes and breaks with me at the moment. Um, that I, you know, I can't actually do that. Um, so I was gonna gonna have some guests on today. I was gonna get uh, someone from the BGL. Uh, the BGL BBL on today, uh, but I couldn't do that. Uh, also, I was going to get someone from Big Ann on, uh, the CEO, in fact, Ross, uh, but he was actually busy today, so he will be coming on the next live stream, most likely, and that is a really good way to start. That is actually just a ridiculous way to start. Um, so, yeah, it's fantastic stuff. First wicket. Get my bowl on first. Stark. Oh, gotta love him. Cook's just... Just gone first ball for a pretty shocking shot. I mean, you know, there's a man out there. You're not even close to in. And so he decides to um, just have a shot. Okay, I'm going to explain another thing with the quality. Um, this whole thing will be re-uploaded in high definition. Um, in HD. So just bear that in mind. This is all going to be re-uploaded in HD for you guys. Uh, that'll probably be coming over the coming days. And yeah, there you go, they get their first run. Um, so, I don't know. What do you guys want? What do you guys want to talk about? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's a no ball. <sighs> yeah, so I've been playing this game for a week now. A week. Um, and it's, it's alright, it's pretty, and no, it's, it's much better than a lot of other cricket games, I will have a, that's another no ball, and he's almost bowled himself, um, but it wouldn't have mattered because it's a no ball, but anyway, uh, what was I saying, oh yeah, this game, it's totally different to any other cricket game you've played before, I mean, I played a little bit of it in November, uh, at the world premiere launch, uh, that was, that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, uh, apart from that, I really haven't done too much, I've just been busy, that could be another wicket, no, just short, so if I'm going to chase here, what's this, 10-10 match, if I chase, I'll probably want to be keeping them to about 80 odd, yeah, that's good, uh, so that means about 8 and over, um, yeah. And also, um, in the coming weeks, I will be doing, obviously, a... Oh, dropped it! I forgot to press the stick. God damn it. I do that a lot, actually. Um, forget to press the stick in the correct direction. So it costs me, um, costs me things. So anyway, if you are joining us today, it would be good if you left a like on the video, um, because the success of this will depend on whether or not we get uh, someone from Big Ant coming next video. So... Just hit the like button, share it with your friends, tell them all to come on and watch. I know it's not the greatest quality in the world, but, um, you know, we can just watch it in a, in a little window and it might look a little bit better. Alright, <laughs> that's all I can say. And that's a, that's a pretty good shot, that's four. I should actually be paying attention to the game a lot more. Um, yeah. Uh, bugs, um, I don't, bugs, there's possibly, that was, did he hit that? Oh, I think he might have hit that under his pads, let's have a look, could have reviewed, no, oh dear, oh dear, hang on a minute, we should have reviewed this decision, I'm thinking. Oh, no, no, he's definitely hit that onto the pad. Definitely got a big inside edge onto the pad. Because otherwise, that would have been very, very close um, to an LBW decision. So, yeah. Um, all right, bugs. Let's actually talk properly for a moment here. Uh, you guys want to know about bugs. So, uh, I have discovered a few online um, in where sometimes uh, there's like a bug that, you know, if you hit the ball... It'll roll along the ground, and then a fielder will pick it up, and it will be a catch. 
So that's one of the ones I've discovered online. Um, and then there's... Not sure if it's a bug or whether it's just really annoying. Uh, when you're running between the wickets sometimes, uh, you can get, like, when you call no and your player just walks back, like, really casually, they can get run out, uh, which is, you know, quite annoying. Um, and that, that gave me a lot of frustration in the first day uh, because I didn't, I wasn't really paying attention as much as I probably should have been. Yeah, that's going to be a couple more. So, yeah. Um, that's probably really the only, like, bugs uh, that have really affected me at this point. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have really bowled Stark then. He... Oh, get lost. That wasn't a no ball. Uh, yeah. So, I am playing... Uh, in the Boom Gaming League Cricket League this season, which will comprise of the Big Bash League, so as I like to call it, the BBBGL or something, something like that, uh, and then that is the Big Bash Boom Gaming League, BBBGL, yeah. Um, so that's what I like to call it. Uh, and so I've won my first match. I ended up, uh, I'm playing as the Brisbane Heat. And that involves me having Mitchell Johnson, who took five for six in in his two overs. And I ended up bowling out... Who did I bowl out? Oh, good fielding. Um, ended up bowling out... Who did I play against? Adelaide Strikers, that's right. I bowled out the Adelaide Strikers for around about 25 runs. And that only took me a couple of overs to uh, pick up. So that's... They are 10-10 games. Uh, they will not be uploaded to my channel. They will be uploaded to the BGL Cricket channel. So uh, go ahead and check out the BGL Cricket channel. That will be pretty awesome. Um, I'll also probably be doing a bit more AFL because the season has started again. Uh, whether that be AFL Live 1 or 2, and that could be a run out. Ooh. I went the wrong end. I definitely went the wrong end. Um, so yeah, AFL season has started. I'll be going to the footy tomorrow night. That'll be fun. Um, hopefully Richmond can beat Collingwood. Because, you know, it's Collingwood. Alright. I'm currently using a Horporg HD PVR 1. Uh, to record my gameplay footage, and that's what I'm using to stream this alongside XSplit. Um, and then, oh, I haven't got a wicket since the first ball. And so, along with that, uh, hopefully soon I'll be getting maybe a Hawpaw rocket or something so I can capture stuff on the go. And then, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe a Hawpaw 2. Um, but, yeah, hopefully I can get a sponsorship with them. Uh, I'll be trying to review more products this year than ever before. So I think last year I did like two product reviews. So doing more than two shouldn't be too hard. So I'm gonna maybe um, I'm gonna review my webcam, which I've had for a while now. I'm gonna review a couple of my friends' headsets, and then hopefully I can get some more stuff from um, companies. Try and get more stuff to review from them. Uh, so that'll be good. More like product reviews. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'll be headed off to the EB Expo and PAX later this year. That's a really good ball. Um, headed off to EB Expo and PAX this year, so uh, hopefully I might see some of you guys there. They're not really for six months, so there's still plenty of time to get tickets. I'll be at PAX. That's a good over four off it. I'll be at PAX all three days, which will be in Melbourne, Australia. And I will be, uh, what will I be? I will be also at the EB Games Expo probably for two or three days. I just went the one day last year and had a lot of good good people that I made over there. So that was lots of fun. I'm going to buy some Maxwell off spin now. Oh, good ball. Maybe it's wide. 
Also, people don't know how to spin the ball on this for some reason. Um, I'm actually very good at getting a lot of reps on the ball. So, uh, you know, over a thousand reps, pretty much all, all of my deliveries. And I like bowling the off spinner. Look at that, 1500 reps. Oh, that's, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Ooh. See if I can maybe do a drifting ball. Ball that might drift a little bit more. Oh. You see, there's no man out there. Uh, oh, damn it! I should have tapped it back. Yeah, it's... Fielding's good. I like the fielding. Uh, I'm going to put a man out there. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. Oh. Direct hit would have had him. Direct hit would have had him. Ten off it. So, mm, wasn't a good over in the end. Uh, I don't want to bowl Faulkner. Yet. I want to bowl... Who did I want? Mirror head. Faulkner's going to bowl at the death, so... That's the plan. Oh, come on! Where did it hit? I don't know where it hit, so I'm not going to review it. So, I haven't taken a wicket since the first ball, and that was Alistair Cook. So, um, hmm. I can just see you guys talking about the footy in the chat. You know, it's only early in the season. One and three would be tough to come back from, so... You know, it's going to be tough for the, the Tigers if they do lose tomorrow. Um, but, you know, I think it'll be a good contest, and that's probably four. Unless I can save it. Go, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Oh. Come on. Brr. That's a 50 partnership. Maybe if I bowl wrong and... This is still a good over here from Murad, don't get me wrong. I mean there's only only had four off it. This will be five, so that's that's a pretty damn good over. James Murad. Just the five off it. Um so that means Murad will bowl the ninth over. Oh. So I'm happy to let them get singles at the moment. I'm really happy with that. Just as long as they don't get boundaries. So. A lot of people standing in the stadium. <sighs> yeah, so really happy for the, just to let them get the singles. Um, it's not going to do too much damage. Um, I've turned the bowling hard off just because it doesn't let me... It doesn't make me look at the, the pitch. It makes me look at the hard, and I don't like that. That was a bad ball. Yeah. Um, does this game have IPL? It has the teams, and you can play a con competition um, to make an IPL game. So, if that's what you're asking. And when I say it has the teams, I mean it has the user-created teams. That's another boundary. So, this is turning into a very poor over here from Maxwell. I'm going to go around the wicket. Just, just, yeah, not enough. 
So what are they? 64 off 7. Okay. So what did I want to keep them to? 80. Alright. No, mirror head's not bowling this. Faulkner will. Yeah? That's right. Yes, Faulkner bowls at the, the death. What's the field? Long on, long off. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. With pure pace, he should trouble the batsman when he's a medium pace bowler. Okay. And the guy's timed that early, so he clearly didn't beat him for pace. Oh, that's a wide. That's a huge wide. That is a huge wide. So I can just bowl good, good line and length. Yeah, and see, that's just keeping him, keeping him to just, just the one off three balls. So far. Ooh, that's going to be missing. I might appeal, but I think it's going to be missing the leg stump by, you know, fair way. This is a really good over here from Faulkner. Just doesn't allow them to use the pace. And that could be four runs, and that is... It's a good shot from Bell. So, five from five this over so far. And that's a no ball, which is really not what you need at this stage in the over. Uh, you want the over to end. I'll be having a review of this game um, coming out by... on the weekend, at the latest. So this will be seven off the over. After it should have just been the five, so over gone. I notice pretty much everyone loves to play that shot, that reverse sweep. A lot of the AI do it, and a couple of people have played online. So I wanted to keep him to 80. I think if I can keep him to 80 something, that'll be good. Oh, that's the wrong spinning direction. Catch! Yay! What? Are you serious, Mirrorhead? He, he's dropped the catch. He's dropped the catch. Oh, James, James, James. I thought he had him too. Catch! Oh. No run. Well, I, I didn't catch it, so. Oh, it's a good over from your head. Just the three. He ends with none for eight off his two. It's pretty good. Alright, so Faulkner's got a bowl really well here. See, I've set my total. I've told you 80. That I reckon that's what I would be able to keep them to or as a good score to be able to chase down. And I think that's what I can keep them to. <laughs> Just KOs this stump out of the ground. Oh, that's very lucky. So if I can bowl to right for the rest of the innings, that'd be good. Even though he's like a big bash league player. Ooh. <laughs> Big appeal! <laughs> and he hit the ball! Oh, jeez. Oh, you're kidding! Jeez. Someone just take the ball. That was just an unnecessary appeal and overthrow.
So that's a lot smarter, that ball. Whitish Yorker. Just keep him to the single. Last ball of the innings here. Oh, yeah, 78. That's good. That's very good. Can you play finals in career mode? Yes. What are you, hang on. I've got to read up a little bit because I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, one second, I'm going to pause this so I can get myself a drink. Any innings? I'll be back momentarily. Remember kids, always stay hydrated when playing games. Oh. Yeah, to so drink plenty of water. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Alright, let's get into it. There's a good over from Faulkner. Couple dots. We will be back momentarily. All right, we're back. Both teams are making their way out now for the start of the second innings. Well, this is a decent total to chase down here. It won't be easy, but if they bet smart and don't throw away their so, wickets, they'll be right in this. We got to bet very smart now. Don't want to do anything stupid. All right, I need seven point nine and over. Yep, two. That's four. Comes to the crease, first ball, and four runs. Four. Doesn't get any better than that. I could watch that shot on replay all day, Matt. Perfect timing and placement. This is just a warm-up game before I do batting career mode. Oh, that's a big hit. It's gone a long way, and that's four ball. Just close to six. That's four runs. Very close. Saw the ball early and smashed it to the ropes. Remember, this entire thing is going to be re-uploaded in HD when it's all done. All right. Just remember that. Eight already off the first two balls. Oh, that's a sh that's a wide. Wide ball. Wide ball. You have to be very careful to actually watch the ball. 
Oh, that's, yep. Yeah. I've done that so many times, it's not funny. Done that so, so many times, it's not funny. That's what happens when you go on the back, um, on the back foot, and you try to hit it across. It just doesn't work. So if you're gonna ever do that, do it off the front foot. Like that. That's off the front foot. So I'm run back here. Just the dive, just just for just to show you guys the look at the dive. He's not mucking around. First ball off the mark. This is on pro difficulty. Because I am a pro. That's very high. That looks huge. And it's a mile. It's six runs. Only 89 meters. I don't think I've hit 100 meter six yet. That's a big shot though. 17 off the first over. So far. There's another ball to come. No. Seventeen. Good over. Seventeen off it. Oh, okay. I probably could have stepped the other way. So wide. 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 Silly boy. Oh, I think I've edged that. Oh, I've edged that. Saved a ah, no. Big shout here. And he's gone. Yes, on your bike, mate. No point reviewing it. Clearly hit that. That was first ball, maybe. Finch. I'm surprised there's actually not too much of a delay on the stream at the moment. No! Oh, that's a good this shot. The there's end. no fielder out there, so we can probably get three, if not four. Nice no, that's four. Play. Probably have a look, see where there's any gaps. There's this big gap over mid off and mid on. Uh, there's nothing down at cow corner. There's probably someone behind me on the leg side. Come on, push for four. Yeah, good running. Good return back Good to running, mate. Gee, these batsmen are lightning fast. Super running. I probably could have run five then. Oh, that's an edge. That's gone. That's another wicket. Loud appeal, and that's got to be close. Got him. Fine catch by the wicket keeper. Jeez, I've edged a few, haven't I? Three for 26. Nine off the over so far. And this is in the air. Ooh. First ball faced, and it's hit for four. Four runs. A three for 30. Three for 30 off two. We need 49 from 48. I played a 5-5 match before and I needed 49 off 20. <laughs> and I won. And two runs out. 47 off 47 required. So I can just hit singles. I can use all the... Oh, that's a good shot. That could be four. Actually, it might only be three. You gotta push. You're running the danger in, Watson. 
and the fielder returns this from oh, out of the It's a very good return. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, a prize wicket here. The bowling side shouldn't have tried that in the field and looking very sharp, but putting the opposition under enormous pressure. You know, they leave a Good gap shots, there. And it's in the gap. And then he bowls it there. Yeah, not risking the runs this time. Hodge is good. Three more to the score. Oh, that's a pull shot. And that's out. Wait, was that Hodge? No! Hodge was my carrier. Oh. Crap. I'm not sure if I edge that or if it just come off the shoulder pad. Who's in wickets like flies? Ooh. The batsman was beaten all ends up there as it sails past the bats. Great bowling. No run. Australia a five for thirty seven. No. Cries of catch, but the ball sails over the keeper who left high in the air to what? catch that one. No. That's a bouncer and above shoulder height. He won't be able to bowl any more in this over. Attention! Yep, two. Off four. the mark. All right, I, I'm not going to lose any more wickets. Haddon and Bailey are going to carry me to the end here. Oh, that's just, that's just really, really dumb. That is quite possibly the dumbest thing you could have ever out. done. Just what were the batsmen doing there? Like, what kind of crap are you thinking there? Seriously. Oh. So, so close to Boy, oh, boy. This is going to have to be a really, really good batting performance no now to, to win this one. Six for 45. Oof, six for 45 or four. Also, I will be commentating over these games uh, as part of the BBBGL, as I call it. The bowler has an excellent strike rate. Such an attacking oh, weapon in this side. Get that one. Come on, Faulkner. Stuart Broad. No. Uh, I'm definitely not going to get out anymore, guys. Alright. I've just been informed that I will be joined by one of the members of the BBBGL. Uh, very shortly. Uh, so that will probably happen as we go into career mode. So that's something else to look forward to through this stream. Two, 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 two. No. Nah, don't do it. Nice fielding. Four runs saved. Uh, 
personality. Thirty two off thirty two required. Ooh, that's not a good shot. The BG BGL stands for Boom Gaming League. Oh uh, yeah. Only two off this broad over. Yeah, it's probably two there. Push for it. Yeah, he's all good. And two runs added to the scoreboard. Australia a six for forty nine. Is about to start a new over. Oh no. At six! It's <laughs> six! Forget about it! Forget about it! Boom. I thought it was very low, but George Bailey knew what he was doing. Oh, wait, that's probably not even George Bailey. Yes, it is. He knew exactly what he was doing, just creamed that shot. 24 of 29 needed. I didn't hit that. Go on, review it. One. Review it, you idiots. Didn't touch the ball. So the captain wants to challenge that he decision. wants to challenge. Here, I'm certain I did not hit that ball. Oh, nothing on Nico. Now they're not hot spot. Silly, silly England. Both teams only get the one unsuccessful review per match, so they'll have no challenges left. Yep, two. No, just one. Just the one. Bailey, 19 of 10 or 11, I think. Uh, hang on. Ooh. There's no one down the ground. No one at all. It's just simple for Faulkner to just say hello. Oh, there's a man there now. Still no one meet meet off. Yep. No, oh, no, there is a person there. It's the one. Probably would prefer to have Bailey on strike, but Australia will be extremely happy with how that over went. So a new bowler is about to start his spell. No run. Can you guys please stop like yelling about the footy? And Collingwood supporters do have a soul. My father goes for Collingwood. Not that he cares too much. And I have sat in the Collingwood cheer squad. They have a soul. It may be a very dark one. But they do have a soul. I must say that. Yeah, oh, that's a really nice shot from Bailey. That's four. There's no better sight than seeing a bad ball put away to the boundary. Lovely. 13 to win now. Off just the 21 deliveries. Ooh, that's high. That could be out here. 
That could very well be it. And it is. That's out. Mm. Caught in the field. Seven for 66. Bailey's gone. Must have lost his concentration. See, that's just a yeah, poor, poor shot choice. Yeah, just the one. I've, I, in this game, I reckon um, Stark's better than Johnson at batting, depending on whose teams you download. Yeah, good run then. Just the two. No time to waste. Immediately off the mark. Australia a seven for sixty-nine. Seven for sixty-nine. Ten off eighteen required. Oh, that's high. A marvelous take by the keeper. High marvelous. Up. That had four written all over it. That's a bouncer. And that will be his one and only in this over. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Yeah. Two. Two, 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 two. Run, Johnson. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO dive. Two more runs. Oh, it's a big shot. At six. Well, no, it's not. That could have been out. That was only four. One bounce, four Ooh. runs. This batsman is toying with the ballers. Four to win. Shot. Oh, and that's it. That's the game. I think. Oh, that's not. One, two. Yolly dive. And a couple more runs. <laughs> oh, it's an edge! Oh, <laughs> it's a top edge. That's eight off the over. Yeah. Two required from twelve. Yes, yes, and that's it. Mitchell Johnson hits the winning runs. Australia will win. It's tough, tough one getting there, but we got there in the end. The end of this match. Australia will be I think the, the Bailey Faulkner partnership was probably the one that stood out. Ian Bell in the man of the match. England only lost one wicket, but they didn't make enough runs. So Cook, <laughs> first ball, well done Alistair, Alistair. Um, so the 25 run partnership between, uh, who was it, Faulkner and Bailey, probably won us the game there. Finch gone first ball, Hodge gone first ball. You know, we didn't have to get to Stark, which was good, you know, and we shall move on. my current batting career mode because it's appalling and <laughs> uh, if I click continue um, delete yes 
so in terms of my bowling career mode, there's probably about 10 episodes ahead that I've filmed uh, that I just haven't had the time to edit and then render and then stuff um, and then upload. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Uh, all right. Who shall we play for? Nottinghamshire. Queensland, South Australia. I think I'm gonna go with the Vic Books Rangers because their batting is apparently very poor. Uh, I will be starting at pro. Uh, and so what this means is when you start your career mode, you can either go pro, legend, or veteran. And so uh, you start it at pro, and what happens is it will progress. So the further and further you get into your career, the the harder and harder it will get. So I'm going to be batting third. My strength will probably be uh, front foot, back foot. Uh, well, I reckon my strength will be the onside because when I used to um, when I used to play cricket, uh, my strength was the onside. So I'll bat third. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my player, but I'm going to copy them from someone I've already created in the Cricket Academy, which will be the same player that I had before. Uh, so I'm going to search here, uh, name contains, oh, this is really hard doing it on a delayed thing, oops, oh, started wrong, lovely, okay, alright, so there we go, got my player, click on him, begin career. Yes, do it. Do it. La 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 la. So I think it was a... we are doing a shield game. So let's have a look at the various options in career mode. You have, um, you know, whether or not you are a chance to play for such a team. Um, so at the moment. I have no chance of playing for Australia. I'm a long way off playing for the County Cup and no chance of playing in the Premier League. Uh, with my bowler, I'm actually, I think, long way off. Uh, I think I'm getting attention for the English T20 Cup and the possibly the Australian um, T20 Internationals. So yeah, let's begin. Our skills are probably horrible. And... Um, and we are about to be joined by someone from the BBBBBGL, uh, Mr. Mr. Alex, uh, who will be. Uh, will be He's currently, I think, the CEO of the BBGL. And he's going to be talking to you guys about. Um, the sort of stuff that, that uh, is going to be seen on the BGL, and that you can go over there and subscribe. So um, that's the plan. So I'm just going to sim to my created player. Oh, yeah, that's probably my ball. Alright, no let's call him, shall we? Alrighty. Hello, Alex. Hey, Dane. And What's going on? Hello, oh. Internet. This is Alex. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing quite well. Just came home from school and... Looking to play my BGL game tonight, so it should be great. Yes, who are you playing against? I believe I'm playing against the Thunder. I'm the Sixers, and that Ooh, is so the Steven. Sydney Derby. All right. So, how do you think you're going to go in that? I don't know. Like, Jared Dobler, if you you guys oh. probably wouldn't know, JDob's 95, he's one of the other admins on the BGL Cricket YouTube channel. Kind of talked that up a bit. But, um... 
Yeah, he he's perhaps the greatest I've seen on this game so far online. And I got pretty close to him in one of the games. It came down to a last over and he just got me in one of the games on BGL Cricket. Um, it's just a practice match. So I'm, I'm actually slightly backing myself here. So let's hope that I can get the job done. Yes, very good. In my match last night, I bowled out the... Who did I bowl out? The, the Strikers for 25. Oof, jeez. You're a, a bit of a bowler, eh? Mitchell Johnson with 5 for 6. Just tearing them to shreds early on. Um, I love me left-handers. Yeah. I love them. Love them. Uh, who else bowled well? A lot of the pace bowlers bowled very well, and then Vittori was the only one who um, didn't get a wicket. So, Yeah, but he, he must have kept the runs tight, wouldn't he have? No, nah, he took eight from his one over. That was Ooh, just, geez. That was that was costly. Surprising there. That was, yeah, well, I, I think the pace was just maybe putting a lot of pressure on the, on the batsman and then to have the pressure come off with something that... Oh, wow, that was very close to getting out. Um, yeah, wow. taking the pressure off with something like a spinner maybe helped him. Yeah, so, yeah. I guess it's just whether or not they're going to be any good against like bowlers or batsmen. Well, I give, I will give you the inside word. And anyone who's pl who comes across J Dub's ninety five online, he doesn't seem to like the medium paces. So yeah, um, uh, he he's very good against the pace bowlers. When I did play yeah. against him, I I brought in Mark Cro Cosgrove when I faced him, and Cosgrove actually kept it nice and tight considering the stage of the game. Um, he still had about eight off him, but with Dobbs, he will hit you for sixes, like, consecutively. He could probably hit you for six sixes in an over. He's that good at timing the ball. He's just a freak on this game. All right, Alex, so for those people out there who want to know where can I watch people playing competitive T20s or T10s, I think we're playing. Yep, T10s. Um, T10s, uh, with a prize at the end, how... How, where can people watch this? Where can they find this stuff? Well, guys, if you go onto YouTube, type in BGL Cricket. Um, it's pretty easy to find out that it is a cricket channel. Uh, we do predominantly uh, Dom Bradman Cricket gameplay, chucked in a bit of uh, Cricket 07. But, yeah, we've got the league going, and uh, over on that channel, we're going to have four games of highlights um, for each round, and then we're also going to have one game of the round, which will be a full game, like full match gameplay uh, with a panel of commentators which will be awesome I believe Dean you may have a few few games to commentate on there so yes, I believe you'll also be part of the commentary team of experts yeah we've got we've got quite a few commentators we've got about a list of six or seven One so taken. we've we've got a lot of variety and um, we've got a couple of international um, commentators we've got Ooh. one from India so it could be interesting could do the Michael holding even though Michael holdings from uh, West Indies, uh, he could do that type of role onto our league. So it will be very interesting. We're trying to make it as realistic as like possible for a video game, you know. We're trying to make it actually like a real coverage of the game. So it should be okay. should do the job. Ah, oh, crap, just got out. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> Go for two in his first game of career batsman. Oh, just tries oh, to sky me. one over the cover region. There's a man back there. Oh, I, I will actually not even feel sorry for you because in my career mode, like, this was just my personal one, um, I had, I'm fairly sure, I had four ducks in a row. Wow. And as I a was batsman or as a bowler? I was a batting all-rounder. Oh, okay. Um, so that wasn't... Luckily, I got, like, continuously got threefers, but I'm not the greatest spin bowler. I was just doing that career mode to improve my spin. Because mm. um, I'm de definitely a pace team. I've got Mitchell Stark, Brett Lee, mm. my team, uh, Josh Hazelwood, Chris Tremlett. So they could do the job for me. But um, yeah, I'm definitely more of a fast bowling type in my career modes. But mm. yeah, I tried to change it up. But yeah, my batting's slightly improved. I've made 48 in a one day off. That was kind of painful. Not make the 50, but still happy. Yeah, well, I'm a pace bowler batting at number 11, so oh, if geez. I do get the chance to bat, um, it's never any good. Oh, come on. There's always an Ashton Agar role needed always in these an, types I, of teams. Yeah. 
Um, I feel a lot more confident, though, batting as Nathan Lyon at number 11 than my career player. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Nathan Lyon's actually quite good. I saw in one of your videos, he killed in that partnership with Paddinson. <laughs> yeah. I still lost that test match by, like, two wickets, I think. Oh, oh well, still a good partnership. Can't yeah. take anything away from that. Well, look at this bloke. Aaron Finch just skies one over the mid-wicket region for four. Oh, Finchy, classic. Hitting the boundaries. You gotta love the way he goes about it. Not just in DB Cricket 14, but actually in real life. He does yeah, the job. Very quality stuff. So, I was very... No, no, don't run me out. Oh, shit. Anyway, <laughs> I was very close to actually getting Ross to come on here today. Uh, except he was busy and I kind of... Um, I kind of was very late with giving him notice, so... Ross will most likely be joining us on the next live stream, uh, which is very good news. So you Beautiful. guys will be able to ask nice him Four questions as well uh, regarding what you think about their game. Uh, so that'll be really damn interesting. Um, yes, I'm getting a bunch of messages getting just spammed to me. This is this is new. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, it's a bump ball. Whew. Dear, oh, dear. What's what's your top score as a batsman so far, Alex? I'm um, as a batsman. Uh, in test, I've gotten 37, and in one day is um, 48. So doing the job there. But in the actual like games online, I think I got um, 34 with Nick Madison against Hayden Withers from Hayden Withers Gaming. Oh, jeez. That was a bit of fun, though. Good old Hayden. Um, yeah, yeah, get around him. Nice handy little player. Oh, you got to love him. You've got to love his inspiration. He's running He's running Division 5 in the in the BGL leagues, I might just say. So, um, as you can see from that, we've got five leagues at the moment, just for Don Bradman Cricket. So, we've always got a waiting list as well. So, I I, I don't want to over-advertise here, Twisty. But, um, That's all right. That's why uh, we we're do, here. To yeah, we do, we do have a website. It's called uh, b www.bglcricket.weebly.com. We couldn't really pay for the full website yet, but we will end up paying that off and get a nice website going. But on there, we've got some nice, you know, we've got some nice uh, fixtures. You can see the live live streams if we've got one going, like you have got one going right now. Um, there's also a tab that says join a league and you can just click on that and it'll bring you to this Google Doc, uh, not Google Doc, Google Form, and you can just sign that in and we will get that notification and we will see what we can do to put you on the waiting list and perhaps put you in the league in, in case someone, you know, pulls out or something like that. So uh, if you want to be competitively playing Don Bradman Cricket 14, feel free to just jump over there and... See what you can do, because I'm sure That's that we will not mind I'm having a few more people on the waiting list. That's how this match is finished. So I'm that could do the job. The on and myself, enjoy your oh, it's a drawn match. Oh, thank goodness. I've made two in the second innings. <laughs> oh, jeez. Before getting caught and bowled. Oh, yes. Well, I survive again. Um, yeah, so that's that's very good news. Uh, for the BGL Cricket. How many subscribers are they over there now? Um, I actually think that we're on... Oh, I know I should probably know this, but uh, I think we're on about 3.30. I think yeah, the last yeah. time I checked. Something about that. 3.44 on my oh, count at the moment. That's not too bad. That's pretty so, good. So, yeah, yeah we've just got lots of gameplay starting to come up now. We've got a few like practice matches with a bit of commentary. You'll see JDobs95 in one of our latest videos. So we we're, we're just going to try and keep uploading um, DB cricket content like you, Twisty. Um, you are definitely at the moment doing a great job in providing all the Dom Bradman cricket 14 fans with the content, which you have to just give the thumbs up to. So guys, I'm not sure if you can like live streams. I'm I'm assuming you can. Yeah, you can. So just chuck a like on this video for Dean. He's done the job, guys. And you've just got to appreciate all the work he does, not just for his personal channel, but he also does a lot of things behind the scenes for the BGL. Um, so, thanks a lot for all this, Dean. You're doing the job, mate. Doing the job. That's good to hear. Um, 
Are we going to have anything else to do with AFL leagues coming up shortly? I, I know in my chat there's been a lot of discussion about Richmond versus Collingwood tomorrow and a lot of people hanging shit on that. <laughs> Is there going to be any more AFL leagues in the BGL's future? There's definitely always going to be an AFL live league just around the corner. It's just we're just going to see how the Don Bradman cricket goes, um, yep. those leagues. And if, if, you know, the lower divisions aren't getting interested, we may cut it down to about three or four leagues and then we'll have one AFL Live league going because we've got to acknowledge our roots. And we came from AFL Live. That was our number one game at one time. And uh, we're still trying to keep that going. But at the moment, we're just focusing on the brand new game, the game with a lot of interest, and that is Don Bradman Cricket. But I'm sure there is always AFL Live in the forecast for the BGL. Good. He's dropped it. Oh, the coin has been dropped. <laughs> Oof, he's tried to hit it behind the slips, and he's just hit it straight to second slip, and he's just dropped it. Oh, jeez. Oh, Glad the, the slip would have been happy it wasn't a cheesecake, because he would have it all over him, wouldn't he? I <laughs> know, oh, it was Aaron Finn, sorry, not Quiney. What am I talking about? Quiney's already out. <laughs> Um, uh, hang on, I'm gonna just, uh, update the description with the BGL website. Oh, thank you. So everyone will be able to get on over there, and you can, uh, have a look at this scorecard from no my match last night. With yep. Mitchell Johnson destroying everyone. So what's the website again, Alex? Um, I've just got to make sure I get, yep, bglcricket.weebly.com. So, it's... I think it's still going quite nicely. I'm not sure if it's been updated yet because that's up to J Dobbs at the moment because he's still yet to give me permission into uh, the editing rights. But I've got my own website going for my sixes, so that'll be soon linked. But we'll have a, I'll have a quick look. It, yep, there it is. There we've got the strikers versus the heat. Yes, if you click on your round one guide, fellas, you can have a look and you can see all the pro tips by uh, I think Jared wrote these. Uh, yep, I believe he did. As well as the team profile, so you can have a look at that. Now, we got the official odds, and uh, if you go into divisions and division one, you can check the results. It's got the you'll PDF see file. The PDF of the strikers versus the heat. So you can click into that, and uh, you can see the scorecard from my uh, match last night. Yeah, and can I just remind you all, this will be happening with every single game of every single league we've got going. For Don Bradman Cricket. So if you want to, you know, check out what's happening in Div 3 in round 5 once that round comes around, just go onto the page, click onto one of the games you'll be oh, interested no. in seeing, and oh, you can no. see the scorecard. Oh, <laughs> oh no, what's no. happened? <laughs> oh no, he's dived, and his bat's not gone over the line. Oh, that's happened to me so many times. <laughs> and then he's tried to get up. This is a shocking camera angle to view it at. And he's tried to stick his back over, bat over, and I'm pretty sure he's gone. Yeah, he's oh. gone. <laughs> he's out. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no. That's the amount of times that's happened to me as well, well, because you're used to doing it with games like international cricket, with just tapping the triangle as soon as you go for the second run. Yeah, ex no, like, it wasn't even the second run, it was just the first run. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, a lot of the time, run. you know, I hit the ball and then I run without even thinking. Like, you know, I can make a single here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just and the, and the amount of times I've tried to, like, I've tried to go back into my crease, but I've accidentally ran, because I'm fairly sure I, I'm not quite sure what the run button was. It was square, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh no, circle, wasn't it? Or something like that. Square's the run button on Don Bradman. Yeah, it was one of them. I've done, I've pressed. I must have pressed like the, go back into the crease button for international cricket, and I've accidentally ran. So that's, I've done that many times, or so I press like square to try and go back into my crease, but it's actually circle, which is go back in your crease. So I have a lot of disasters that happen with my running. So I'm yes. sure that's happened to a lot of you who's played the game, but it's just about learning, learning the controls and getting used to them. Yeah, and you have to be very, very patient too. Mm, yes. Uh, so just remember everyone, this entire live stream will be re-uploaded in high definition sometime later in the week. Uh, so Woo. you can check that out uh, when that does happen, if you have missed any of the stream. And uh, now's your time, we're going to start taking your questions, so hit, the, hit up the comment section and uh, we'll try and answer some of your questions as best we can. Beauty! So uh, yeah, we'll just wait, that'll probably be like 20 second delay.
until, yep, yep. <laughs> until it goes through. So we currently have 33 people watching. That's uh, doing well. That's, that's and geez, really well, 32 yeah. likes on mine. And we got the Ooh. 32 likes, so hang on, if I actually pause this game for a second, I can have a look and see how many people have passed through the live stream. I've just got to pause it because I have to change a channel uh, on my TV screen because one of the channels is the actual... Um, is like a dual screen of my computer. So if we have a look at the statistics here, the analytics of this, we can see that over 233 people have passed through Ooh. the live stream uh, in total, and we've had a peak uh, total viewers of 33, which is what we are currently at, I believe. Somewhere um, around that. Very yeah. nice. So we're doing, doing quite well at the moment. Um, all right, so... Ask your questions, la di da, and uh, jeez, bush rangers, none for none. After, wait, why am I opening the batting? No, wait, <laughs> just... now it's just one for seven. Okay. Oh, there we go. There That's a bit go. of uh, interesting things. All right, do you play on the Xbox or PlayStation Three? Well, we both play on the uh, PlayStation Three. Yep, does the job nicely. Because uh, they have to pay for online, even though I have Plus, so I can play online on the PlayStation 4, if I need be. Beauty. Oh, yeah. And somehow I've made four runs. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's handy. Um, what do you guys think of the underarm ball? Well, I don't think you can view mark. it in this game. Can yeah, I think, I think he means in... Oh, in just in the, general? The, yeah, the... Famous game. Was it one of the chapels? So, so Someone like that. I think it was Australia and New Zealand or something. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely against New Zealand. Actually, I've seen a great commercial for it. Um, <laughs> one of those New Zealand ads. Have you seen it with the box? He, he take the New Zealand guy's facing it. The Australian goes to underarm the ball. He underarms it. The New Zealand guy takes out his box, puts it on the ground, rolls up the box, bounces straight up, and he slaps it for six. It's a great <laughs> ad, but... um. Yeah, the underarm ball. I think I I do not like seeing it in. I did not like seeing it in cricket. Well, I I obviously wasn't around at that time to watch it live. But um, I I from what I've seen on YouTube and replays and stuff like that, I don't I don't like seeing it. It's just <laughs> just bowl the ball. You just take the chance, win fairly, gain the respect of your supporters. I know that your supporters won't like you if you get hit for, hit off the last ball and you lose the game, but you just got to do it. So, hopefully that answers the question nicely. Yes, hopefully it does. Alright, that's... Oh, run, 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 run. Yolo dive. Um, Alright, uh, Cloaky Turkey asks, what are your opinions on International Cricket 2010? Well, I never actually played this game, so I'm going to go to Alex for this one. Uh, okay. What did yep. you think of International Cricket 2010? I actually think that it actually wasn't a like terrible game. I actually liked it. I thought it did the job. But the thing is, this is why I love Don Bradman Cricket so much. Because once the squads kind of went out of date, you had to create all the players. But there was only like certain face templates and you couldn't edit the face. Yeah. I hated that. And the skill update, when you're in the middle of a game... The skill update came on, and it actually had to wait and save the skill point going up. And it just paused the game. It just made it boring. Um, it was like most cricket games. It was way too easy to hit a six. And it was way too easy to bat. Like, seriously. Oh, my God. And fast bowling was so annoying on that game. Uh, because you just had to get in the right spot, and you got them. But if you, like tried to mix it up a bit with a bouncer, you couldn't really do it well because it would either go straight over their head or it would be like a front foot shot. So I did not understand that. Um, but I actually think that it, it did the job for the time it was out. But Don Bradman beats it on so many levels. It just is so much better than it. So I, I, I still love the game. Once you made the teams, it wasn't too bad, but... Don Bradman absolutely smashes it in, like, gameplay and stuff like that. It's just, Don Bradman's a much better game. So, hopefully that answers that. All right, Sharpshooter197 asks, Cheers, man. How often will the Division 1 games be uploaded? 
Um, okay, so we're going to have, like, so there's four games in in Division 1. All of the games will get uploaded as, up, uploaded as a highlights package. And then we'll also have the game of the round. That will also have a highlights package and the full game, like the full game up on the channel. And with that full game, we'll have the commentary panel of about three or four oh, on the panel. Good. And we're going to full on live commentator even though it won't be live but we'll be watching it for the first time ever so it's hopefully going to be a good production so that's how that'll work and yes so i guess they oh, will be word. uploaded Take every single round up. yep all righty um is this game better than ashes cricket i think i think you can see that the game works just by watching this live stream so i think you can just say yes on that one um, yep. alright, what else? Will you ever play on the PC? I don't know, I, I'm thinking about it. The PC game does look a lot prettier, uh, mm. I must say, and a lot more polished than uh, the console versions of the game, the uh, obviously because, you know, the PC always be looks much I'm better, uh, just depending on how well you can run it on your PC. Um, it won't run on my PC. <laughs> my PC is absolutely shot. Right. That's why I've got my Mac laptop, yeah. and then I've got my, uh, you know... Windows computer upstairs. Windows 7, but it oh, does not have the graphics cards to support it. So, well. yeah, I don't. I think that's a no for me. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see. Hang on. I better watch the ball and then answer the question. Just the one. All right. Uh, will Division One be the only games uploaded, or will all of the divisions get uploaded games? The thing is, most of the other people from the other divisions don't have recording devices. You see, for Division 1, one of the main um, elements to get into the league, you had to have a recording device because we wanted Round 1, uh, sorry, Division 1, to have all their games uploaded. No, no if, buts, or maybe. So, if you wanted to get into Division 1, um, you would have to have a recording device where we'll, we'll still encourage the people if they do have a recording device to upload their gameplay um, if, from the lower leagues if they have recorded it. But you probably won't Another see too many, game. maybe like three or first four ball, games at best from other divisions. It's just if they feel like recording because we're not going to push them. Unlike Division 1, that's a must. You must record if you're in Division 1. Yes. So, yeah. Alright, what else? Uh, do you think we'll get any updates for this game? Well, I know for a yep. fact yep. that uh, this game is always being constantly discussed uh, with Ross Simmons from, uh, from uh, where are they? Big Ant Studios, sorry. Uh, and they are always discussing bugs uh, with the community on planetcricket.net. So if you have any bugs or input that you want to put into the game, head over to uh, the Planet Cricket forums and you can actually try and have your input there and that's um, where you can discuss things with uh, some of the people from Big Ant Studios who actually created this game. So uh, I think we will be getting probably another patch shortly uh, to do with some online fixes, not too sure how that's coming along. Um, also, um, Dean, can I add to this? Sure. Um, there will also be DLC coming out. I, I've talked to Ross about this, and he has said that it's pretty much like a definite oh, that uh, the nurse. SCG will get the update and will get its new stand in, in one of the DLC patches. Um, but unfortunately, you, you will have to buy that probably for about 10 bucks. but it wouldn't be just the SCG. It will have other features. No, and no. I've also heard from... Uh, from Planet Cricket that there could be now that Ashes Cricket 14 uh, sorry Ashes 13 has uh, you know been cancelled um, I have heard that we will now be getting um, we, well we could be getting um, like some licensing uh, for like stadiums and perhaps a few teams may get licensing um, so that's kind of exciting and that will be in a DLC if that does happen so Exciting times if you just stick with the game. Yeah, very good. All right. Um, what is your favourite cricket slash sports game apart from Don Bradman cricket? That was a loose um, I'm going to go to you for this first. I'm, I'm going to have to say uh, AFL Live, to be honest. 
It's I've had it since 2011, and it still does the job. So, um, but if I was going to say other oh, cricket game, um, I would actually say I know this sounds funny, but I actually love Cricket 07 and um, Cricket Coach 2014 on the PC. Cricket There's coach. no gameplay. There's no gameplay, but the whole game like is licensed except for the big bash and stuff like that but australia's got all the players um I, it's like a simulator game it's like team management team management the whole like and it can go on forever and ever like i'm currently in season 2023 i think and it's just very very fun so i recommend it if you just want it's good for school if you're getting really bored in one of your classes Actually, it's not very good for school. I shouldn't be advertising this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's it's very, very no good way to pass to time. If you're a little bit bored and you've just got a little bit of battery left on your computer, why not whip open uh, Cricket Coach 2014? I love it. Anyway, Dane, what about you? Uh, yeah, I would probably have to say to an AFL Live 2003. Um, it was just so awesome at the time. You could just like run around, and X X was the button. X was X was God in in this game. You know, X was to mark, to tackle, to kick, and when you were so kicking for goal, it was pretty much hold the button and hope. It was just so fantastic. I mean, you didn't have to try and aim it to be perfect or anything. You you just had to hold the button and hope. And you know, I would always have Richo kicking five or six goals every game and it was oh it was the greatest thing ever and the amount of speckies that I took in that game made made my childhood, I reckon. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that game was oh just the best. Alright. Finch or Warner in a twenty twenty? Uh, I have to go with Warner. Although Finch is a proven power hitter, I think Warner just because he's I reckon I don't know. It's like comparing like with like. I just think that Warner's just got a bit extra experience, and I reckon that he he's more exciting to watch, to be honest. I know that's a very controversial call. All right. Oh, it's a, let's go for two. One, two. Um, all right. Uh, we have for someone who's actually in the BGL, I think. Um, Sharpshooter197 says, I'm the sixes for Division 4. What tactics should I employ? Alrighty, get Mark Crosgrove into the team. He actually does very well. Medium paces are actually very hard to time, like when you're trying to bat against them. So get medium paces into the team, like Bapara and Cosgrove. Make sure they're both in your team. Also carry lots of part-time spinners, like Marcus North. Have him in your team. Um, also have, uh, you got to have Steve Smith, of course. And make sure you have both Nathan Lyon and... and uh, Steve O'Keefe, that will probably set you up in the bowling department and then also have a couple of pace bowlers. But when you're batting, I would say, against spin, try and do sweeps and Perfect reverse timing. sweeps. I reckon they're very, very good. Miller. I actually Miller reckon they're the, the way to go in when facing spin. Because when you play it straight, you'll find that you'll pop it up way too often. So try and play the sweeps. Like, yeah, sweep. Sweep the ball. I reckon those... That, that is probably the best way to play spin, and spin is the hardest to play on the game, I'd say. With medium pace, of course. Alright, Harpreet Giller asks, What do you guys think about the Real Cricket 2014? Uh, this is a game, I believe. Yeah, I've actually never, never even heard of it, to be honest. Um... I have heard of it. I haven't looked too much into it, though, so I'm yeah, same probably here. not the greatest person to ask about that. Um, I could probably have a bit of a look into it um, in the future. Give a bit and of an update. See, see what... Oh. Um, see what yeah. oh, I finally thought of what it is. It's, it's that app that has the bowling action like Graham Swan when you're bowling spin. It's that oh. one. Is it? I've I've, ne I've never played it. I've seen the YouTube. Is it videos. a mobile game or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I I just remembered it. Um, when I searched it up, it said Android apps, and I was like, oh, that's the one. It's the one with the Graham Graham uh, Smith Swan, sorry, action. Jeez, hope hopefully I wasn't saying that the whole time. But um, 
Yeah, I think that it looks very good. I'm yet to play it. I'm, it's still on my bucket list to get. Um, but perhaps Twisty, you may be able to... Hang on, have we lost him? Hello, Alex. No addition to the score. Alright, I think we may have just lost Chizman. Momentarily. Um, yeah, Cole's definitely dropped out. Um... No shot off so hopefully he'll be back shortly. Um, but yeah, uh, I am just gonna. Hang on. I'm batting really surprisingly well. For those of you who haven't noticed. All right. Um, I'm gonna find out how to fix this problem. So I'm going to pause the game, and then I'll get him back really quick. Alright? Alex? Are we back? Oh, there we God. go. Sorry about that. Yeah. I think I've just gone to an ad, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep the ads up. Alright. I'm batting surprisingly very well. Uh, I'm 35 off 18 in in my fourth innings. Play some leg glances, actually, if you're facing pace. Yeah. They're very good. I, have, I haven't really been watching because I didn't want my internet to do what it just did then, so... <laughs> I haven't Xavier, been able to see. Xavier Doherty's in the bowl. Alright, we can make a run. All right, uh, next question. I'm playing career mode right now, and I've finished Another season one so far. School. Not a bad performance. How many more seasons do I need to play for qualifying for my national team? How is career mode tuned? Career mode tuned. Um, well, the first question is, uh, how many more seasons do I need to play for qualifying for my national team? Uh, I'm not really too sure. I've only played one season. Uh, I guess it would be based off your performances. Yeah, performance to see how well, uh, or how close you are to being picked for your national team. Um, if you're, you know, only making, if you're a batsman and you're making, you know, 15 runs every match, then it's probably not going to be, it's going to be a while before you're picked for your national team. Um, you should probably always check the selection indicators yeah, to yeah. see uh, how far away you actually are from getting picked for your team, I think. When you're getting attention, um, I'm not quite sure. I think it's maybe like five games before you can, uh, before you might actually be selected or something. Oh, I've edged that. No, I was batting so well. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. 36. Well, Dan, at least you didn't chop it on when you're on 48. Oh. I chopped it on. When I was in my career mode once. I've gone for the back foot drive and it's just caught oh. in a little tickle. Oh no. Bloody Doherty. 36 off 20. Still a very good performance there. Oh, I'm quite happy with that though. Should be proud of it. So, you know. Alrighty, let's see. Have any more questions? Any more questions? So this is the broadcast camera, by the way, guys. So I'm just going to leave it on this for a moment so you can just enjoy that while I uh, have a look. Who is the most OP player in the game? You. Uh, because I have, I've already seen a five-star team online. Because uh, the thing about this game is there's no salary cap issues. Mm. There's no anything. So, you know, people can create their own team, play it online, and it can be five-star everything. So... Yeah. Uh, I really hope that doesn't get the better of this game like it did with uh, AFL. AFL Live. Um, but you never know uh, what's going to happen there. Hmm. So yeah, and I guess it just depends on who whose like, player creations you download as well. Yeah, um, yeah. Because uh, everyone, every player you download has their own unique skills made by the creator, so it's the creator's opinion of their skills, you know? Um, so yeah, what do you think, Alex? Um, to be honest, 
I think I, I agree with you there. With everyone is is perhaps the most overpowered player. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Losing my voice there. No. Had something in my throat. Um, but <laughs> not the greatest for a live stream. But I think I've kind of lost my train of thought. So I'm gonna have to t try and wing this. But yeah, I think as you said, you're the best player. It's yeah, it's the creator, but. I might actually try to add here. You may have noticed this in career mode. Um, some stats are not realistic on some of the um, teams um, that you download um, because Phil Hughes and Callum Ferguson seem to kill it in career mode. I'm not sure if you realise that. That's with bowling. They they both open the bowling. So I just recommend when you download your teams, if you don't want the players, the batsmen to be OP bowlers, to you know just check all your stats once you download them and also while I'm on the downloading topic I know I'm getting a little sidetracked here but when when I download the New South Wales Sheffield Shield team I noticed that batting at number three was this Hampton guys Hampson someone like that yes yeah, he Hampton. is yeah he is not a player so to everyone delete him it's actually I'm fairly sure it's that guy's created player or something like that because he has a goatee blonde Blonde goatee. So I don't think I've ever seen too many players in this modern day with a blonde goatee playing for New South Wales. And that's coming from a New South Welshman. So just... Anyway, I'm going to stop before my voice breaks out again. So, yep. Alrighty. What have we got? Your opinions on Shane Watson in or out of form. Um, I didn't really watch too much of the T20 Cup, to be honest. Uh... Out of form. Out of form? There you go, out yeah. of form. You heard it here. Yeah, I just think... I'm starting to think he's losing it. He... I think ever since Simon Kadic got dropped from the test team, he's never been the same batsman. Well, in fact, from all evening, forms of cricket. Because um, I can remember when they used to... Match. Kadic and I'm Watson, Matthew I'm Hillen, fairly sure they used to be um, playing in the ODIs David as well. And Watson used to kill it when he was with Kadic. I don't know. I think, I think he's lost it. To be honest, he's not just out of form. I think he's lost his, his ability. I still rate him as a bowler, though. Just don't get me wrong. But he can't be selected on his bowling, just to, just like that. He can't select someone who's bowling, high one twenties, to, just be a bowling bowling all rounder. I wouldn't. I I would just about be at the stage of dropping him and just trying to find some new talent. To be honest, I know that's harsh. I do love Watson. I think he, I think he's been a great player for Australia, but I think he's lost that's it a bit. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I hate saying it though. But yeah, yeah, yeah he used to be a very good one-day player. Mm. Um, and T20, but yeah, he didn't show that in the World Cup. So he's definitely out of form in T20. That, that's his normal format yeah. nowadays. Off the mark in this 50 over match. Mm, very interesting. Mm. Uh, I think that's, that's all the questions for now. Um, well, if you keep asking them, we'll keep answering them. Um, yeah. Oh, I see. I see one here, Dane. Mm. Uh, I, someone said I I filled out the form on bglcricket.weebly.com. How long should I wait for the response? Now, um, basically, the response depends when we actually get on the site. Um, Dobbs. JDobs95 may be getting on there soon. He checks them daily, so you should you should just expect a response if you've added your Facebook account because the leagues are pretty much run through Facebook. So if you've added a Facebook account or an email address, um, we'll message you back on your email address. I'm not sure if there's an email slot anymore, but there used to be. But yeah, um, so we'll find a way to respond to you to make you get... Um, Facebook or something like that, so then you can be a part of the leagues and stuff. Um, but yeah, the response should be and should come whenever we're on. So I may have to check it after this though. So yeah, very good. Uh, any any batting tips you have for these people, Alex? Um, so I've already Pushes said the sweep, the sweeping the ball. Um, I'm not sure if it was picked up on in the actual video or if we're having an ad, but um. I did tell you, Dean, against the fast bowlers, especially on career mode, I reckon 
will play it off the front foot, walk across your stump and try and leg glance it. Don't even use the, don't use the, like, both the bumpers, I guess they're called these days. Don't use the L2 and R2. Just walk across and then play, like, front foot and play leg glance, which is obviously to the leg side. So just, yeah, I reckon that's very effective in career mode. Can get you a lot of twos and... Just, but make sure that you always check your field, though. And don't go running as soon as you hit it. Make sure that you've got the full view of the field and you can see that the ball's missed the field. And kind of like in real life. Um, and then you can go past there. But you see, I'm more of a bowler, to be honest. Those are my two tips um, that I've got. And actually, adding to the no bumpers, I reckon just never use bumpers. So... Because I find when I try and play an, an attacking shot, it's too hard to time the ball well. So I just try and bump it around for ones and twos, perhaps three every so often. Just find the gaps. Kind of like in real cricket. Look for the gaps. Oh, is that a catch? Oh, no, he dropped. Oh, yeah, he took it. Yes. Well, this is a little bit delayed, but... Yeah, I'm currently... I'm still in. My teammates are dropping before me. Yeah. Uh, it's three for 26 of six. But yeah, I hope that answers the question. Two runs. In what format is the current Aussie Test team best? Uh, current Australian team bestie. So well, that would be well, yeah, Test yeah. ODI or T twenty. T twenty. So I think international rankings would say we're the best at one days. Yeah, yeah. I I reckon that we're the best at Test at the moment. At the moment. Um, test at the moment, and actually, di WWE Titan Tron Man, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, I think it's like that, he said test, so I agree with him on this one. ODIs were still a fantastic team, especially with James Faulkner guarding us home, <laughs> but, James oh yeah, He's that fantastic. innings, that's a, that's a video of its own, just to talk about that, but, um, I reckon test at the moment, we're just, we're just working on so many, like, levels, and we're just killing it. You can, you know that we're a great That's test a team. Is it the Mitchell and Johnson factor? I, I reckon it could be, but we can't, we can't, we cannot forget Ryan Harris and Nathan Lyon and Peter Siddle during that se series. You need two. You need the other bowler at the other end to be bowling nice and tight for one bowler to do well. I know that's been said a lot of times on the coverage, but um, I think that's I, what Lyon did very well. You know, yeah, he wasn't he yeah. wasn't always the one to go to to try and get a wicket. He was yeah. just there to play his role in the team and that that's what I think he he did very well and that's why I think he's the one who's consolidated himself um, as the spinner in the team, you know, because we've had I think nine yeah, or ten yeah. spinners change since Shane Warne's gone, so we're never gonna find another Shane Warne, I think. Um, yeah. But in saying that, there is uh, James Muirhead. Yeah, James Muirhead. Uh, I'll tell you what, JDubs95 from BGL Cricket and BGL Media and his own channel, JDubs95, he rates James Muirhead a lot. And in one of our videos, we did team previews of our teams that we've got running in the leagues. Six. In one of... Oh, did you hit a six? <laughs> I'm still waiting for it to yeah, load. It's, it'll, but yeah, it'll I'm a bit behind. End of the over. Well, yeah, but... um. Yeah, he, he talks him up a lot, and he actually reckons he's going to become the next best thing for Australia, because he's only, what, 18 or 19? Yeah, 20, I think, maybe? I think so. I don't still think he's old enough to play in the this team or something. Yeah. He, he's still very mouldable at the moment, and he could perhaps be that new thing, because he does give it a big tweak, but yeah. Is Faulkner more of a batsman or a bowler? Oh, jeez. I'd have to say he's more of a bowler. That's why he's picked. He's very good at bowling at the death um, in T20s. Um, and he's very good at playing in the death. <laughs> so, Am I the only one who thinks that Faulkner is a direct split? I, I think he is, though. Yeah, It's... I I reckon you've just got to split it straight down the middle. Flick a coin to see what he's better at. He's yeah. an all-rounder. You can't call him which way. 
he's not even a bowling all rounder or a batting all rounder. He's just dead set and all rounder. That's what he is. I cannot actually say what he's better at because you could just call him a great deft batsman. But he's also a fantastic death bowler, although the West Indies game did not show that. <laughs> then, um, he, he's just, I don't know, it's too hard to judge. <laughs> he's just great at everything. I, I want to see him play a couple of test matches. Then we perhaps may see what he's better at because we'll get to see him for longer periods. But in ODIs and T20s, I think he's definitely split down the middle. And two runs out. Eight from the right. Um... Which IPL team has a better chance to win this year? Do you follow the IPL? To be honest, ever since Channel, I think it was Channel 10 or someone like that, had it on and then they took it off. I can remember when I used to watch it at like 2.30 um, in the morning, the morning yeah. in Australian time. But this, I've just not really been able to get into it because I haven't been able to watch the game. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to answer that question. Yeah, I haven't really watched it too much since <laughs> since Gilchrist was playing in it. Mm. <laughs> uh, but I guess I guess uh, I, there's a lot of opinions in this comment box at the moment, and I think they could give you the answer. There's yeah. a lot of opinions going on down there. Yeah, so ask them. Ask, comments, give them a reply. You know. Someone said Mumbai. Someone said Punjab. Punjabi. Mm -hmm. Besides Clark, who is Australia's most important player? Mitchell Johnson. Yeah. Left-hander. I was just going to say, it's a very a easy lefty. call. It's, it's Mitchell Johnson. Um, Actually, I will not, I will not though. You have to kind of back Warner as well. I think yeah. that Warner, he is turning into Australia's X Factor. He, he is, I think he is the best tits, test batsman for Australia at the moment. At the moment. Yeah. Clark hasn't been informed for about six months. I'll tell you what, though, you have to admire Clark's gutsy innings when um, Mornay Morkel was coming at him. Oh, that, that, was, that was one of the greatest innings I've seen. That was the best captain's knock I've seen. Better than his 329. Because that was just... I remember sitting in front of the TV while he watched, well, that whole 329. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was there. The every, every ball of that innings. Fortunately, I didn't get to go to the game because even though I live in Sydney, I... Don't know why I didn't get to go. Uh, I'm really ruined not going now, though. Yes, Reckon it would have been awesome. Yeah, I I think the greatest innings I've probably seen was uh, 2005 Ashes at the MCG when uh, Australia were in a bit of trouble in day one. I think we were about five for maybe 80, and then Andrew Simons right, and two. Matthew Hayden made 150 end, each. <laughs> and had a, this massive partnership that won the day for Australia after England had had such a good start. And the day before that, I was also there to see Shane Warne take his 700th wicket. Oh, jeez. So it was a good, been, good yep, couple of days good for day. me then. Yep. Jeez, that must have been fantastic. Now, Dean, um, someone has just said on the sign-up forum for BGL, what does online ID mean? Um, we're meaning like online, like the, your PSN, PlayStation Network ID, um, like your username you go by online um, on the PS3. But yeah, or if you're on the Xbox, obviously your, your game attack. So, because we may be doing it, we may try and start up an Xbox League soon. If it depends on JDobs95 if he wants to get the game on Xbox because he has both consoles, I don't. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Do you premeditate your footwork or play on Batman's merit? Premeditate well, on the ball's merit. Um. Well. The oh, I think that's outweighed. Ah, uh, bloody, down. everyone's fallen the beneath me. Oh, no. I'm <laughs> still in. Um, I don't know. I'll review it because I didn't... Well, it's not me. He's he's the but I, I'm oh, pretty sure he's hit this one. one. I'm pretty sure he's review? hit this one. I was going to save the review for me, but... I'm pretty sure he's hit this one. Cause Be it's selfish. Nah, he got to do the team thing. Oh, no, he's a big inside edge. 
<laughs> See, you gotta be selfish. Huge inside edge on the snicker. Yeah, he's giving him out. He's gone. On your bike, Wade. But if it's him, him who goes out, why am I the one reviewing it? You know? Why do I think, why do I think I get you asked? have to try and go into, like, I don't know, third person view. Oh, that's what it does, actually, but you gotta try and become, like. The crease now. Yeah. yeah, you gotta become two brains. You gotta really start to think when those reviews come on. Ooh, but you gotta you've gotta admire what Big Ann have done with this review system though. I'm a little bit delayed, I'm right now, but yeah. I'm only just seeing it getting given out. But yeah. Yeah, you gotta love it. I just install the Snicko, even though it's probably a long way in the future now. Yes, this is past me. Um but yeah, it's I just love the way Big Ant's gone about this game and I think although it may have a few glitches I think it's a brilliant game. Hmm. So 26 of 14 now. Oh, just a run. One day against Queensland, yeah. I, I, I would have thought we'd be playing better considering it's the MCG. You know, a bit disappointing mm. here. 5 for 67 at the moment. Actually, Twisty, be quiet. I'm still yet to win a test match. <laughs> With my career mode with New South Wales, I've won one. I've won one, one day. I jeez, I said, one way too many times. And I've won so many as my in my bowling career. Yeah, but I've, see, I'm a batsman, so once you get past me, see, I seem to lose my wicket quite cheaply for about I don't know seven runs usually on average, um, and so yeah, we, we'll find ourselves about two for fourteen. And yeah, then we just get screwed over. <laughs> I've almost run out 10 Christian the there. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, who's Australia's best ever seam bowler? Best ever. That's a really tough call. You know, because there's what, DK Lilly, Glenn McGrath, from, Brett Lee. Yeah, from what I've seen, see, I've only got about 15 years of watching cricket live in every single game. Glenn McGrath, I'd say. Yeah, he was... The Pidgey. Got the same nickname as me, actually. That's my... And it actually didn't even come from my cricketing skills. I'm not very... I'm not the most fantastic cricketer, but I do the job with the ball. But I'm a left-hander, not a right-hander. But, um... Yeah. I just... I don't know. I just admire the way he goes about... He went about his bowling. He just mm. puts it in the place. He's, do, he's not even... Extreme pace. He's not 152 like Lee every single ball, but he's just fantastic. It was just a fantastic placer of the ball. He just knew where he wanted to place it, and he always put in that corridor of uncertainty. Yeah, and he's also very good at the swinging mind. the ball back in yes, when, when players ball. weren't ready for it. My team's dropping end. like flies. Six, six oh, for no. 70 off 11 overs in a one day match. Oh well. So I'm going to have to carry this. Big John o Hastings is in at the moment. There's no better sight than seeing a bad ball put away to the boundary. Lovely. Yeah, well, I've got about five minutes left here. And that goes through to yep. the wicket. Uh, I've been playing fairly well, I think. Currently 28. On 16 balls. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this, this batting performance of, of the last two things. I think being slightly distracted by no, talking to you has, like, made me just relax a bit more and not try to, to smash the crap out of every okay. ball. Okay, blame it all on, mate. No, 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 no. I'm saying that's good. I Yep, I'm saying yeah. it's making me more of a patient, patient person, and so that's why I'm, I haven't lost my wicket yet. Okay, very good, very good. But you should be whacking it. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, well, there's only twelve where's, hours in, and we've lost six wickets. I, I don't think I've got the, the chance Davey to whack Warner? it. Where's your inner Where is your inner Davy Warner? I'm batting at number three, Alex. I do not care. Where's your inner Shane Watson when he just depleted England with that one hundred and forty odd? Where's your inner bat? I can't do that when my team keeps falling before me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure you've still got a nice piece of willow in your hand, and I'm fairly sure that you've got a bowler bowling at you, and I'm fairly sure you do have shoulders, so you are able to swing 
So I'm pretty sure, after all, you can still hit a six. So what I'm going to say is toughen up. The toughen field up. Is still you got to wait for the right ball, mate. So I don't care. Just have, have a go. Out, of course. I think oh, it's a free hit now. Oh wait, you don't. You never really played it. Oh, the free hit. I think he's scored that one. That's six. He's found plenty on that. <laughs> free hit and he hits the six. <laughs> See, I'm that's just, why you wait for, for the right ball. I still don't care. You should have listened to my advice earlier. See, you could hit six then. Okay. Uh, it was twelve point three. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, okay, I'll stop giving you shit now. <laughs> because let's face it, I will not. I'll probably be nice doing fielding. the exact same as you, thing as you. I think I got about one off about 34 deliveries and got out in one of my career modes. Mm. So, yeah. Mind you, I do not have the brain for batting. Uh, as in real life, I bowl, I, I open the bowling, but I do bat at number 11. And sometimes. Like in the grand final, when you're still allowed to bowl when you're 12th man. See, I'm, I'm only in under 16s. So, they still let me bowl if I'm 12th man. So, sometimes they tactically put me as 12th man and bring in another batsman. So, Ooh. yeah, that's sneaky, me. Sneaky, sneaky. Mind you, mind you, I still feel a little bit hard done by because in my last game of the season, I scored a nice 38 and got out swinging. So... But considering my highest score before, that was 18. That was pretty sad. But, yeah, I, I, I will take that with a lot of passion. I will, and pride. So, yep. I was hoping that I will get a bit of a elevation in the batting order. I think I would you know? bat with the mentality of hit out or get out. If I was actually playing, because... Oh, no, he's edged it! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, shit out. Oh, that's perfect, though, because that's 6.30 and I'm about to end the stream anyway. Oh, jeez. <sighs> that's just shocking. 36 off 21. Played a good innings. Oh, they're going to get bowled out after about 12 overs here. Come on. All right, let's simulate to the end of the The glass is always half full, not half empty. Positivity. Oh, rude. Screwed. Hang on, what do we make? What did they end up making? I top scored with 7 for 86 off... Oh, wait, no. Hang on. Aren't we still in? I'm simulating that. Hang on a sec. I gotta... I've, like, paused the simulation. He's about to st After now, 11 Twisty... overs. Oh, sorry. Can I, can I ask you a question? What's your highest score? Because I don't know if you've said this earlier, but... In this game? Yeah, in, like, career mode. All time. I think that inning's just then. 36. 36? Because I bat at number... I mean, I'm... Yeah, batting at number 11. And this is my... This is the first Very episode nice. of my bat batting career mode. Well, then I'll have to give you that. Yeah. So, um... I'm going to say thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you to Alex for joining oh, no me. no worries. Thanks for inviting me onto the little live stream here. And I really appreciate... Uh, you might you, have you on next week as well. Helping me get the word out. But yeah. Alright, so next week there's probably going to be a live stream either on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. And hopefully I'll be joined uh, with Big Ant CEO Ross Simons. So that, that'll that be good. Maybe Alex can make an appearance maybe with uh, Jared as well. Uh, as I'm he was good. unable to make it today. And just remembering everybody, this will be re-uploaded in fully high definition. Uh, with, oh, well, not fully HD. It's going to be in 720p. So it's going to be good enough for you guys to be able to watch it Yay. properly. And, um, yeah, I might even chuck in a little bit of the extra bonus footage from before the match started where I'm uh, just yelling at everything because the live stream wasn't working. So, oh, that would be exciting. Come on, upload that. So I might, I might add that in as a little bonus as well as uh, maybe like short three or four minute clips of stream highlights. Um, so... They'll also be coming shortly as well. So thank you guys for watching. My computer's going to blow up now because it has to render a two-hour video. But until next time... Uh, hang on, wait. I, gotta, I should probably simulate this just, just so you see how this match ends. There we go. Great and finish. And there we go. We lost. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe not so great finish. Yeah, well, we lost. We made 120 or something. That's just rubbish. That is just not even any good. Beautiful. Anyway, thanks for watching the stream, fellas. Uh, you can have a look at the fact that uh, 
Kawaja wins man of the match. I made 36. What did he make? 69. That's a shit score. Mine oh, was off well. 20 balls. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for Alex. No and worries. I will see you guys later. See ya.